This video is via Atletico Paranaense. They are located in Brazil. What is noticeable is the following. There was a strict rule in place with this club, which led to one of the most iconic and unique atmospheres we can recall in sports. Only women and children 12 and under were allowed entry. The last time these two clubs, that being Atletico and Corotibia, faced off, a brawl ensued between their respective supporters. It was yet another example of how such a wonderful sport could turn so violent and so ugly so quickly. After the brawl, Brazil's court ordered that Corotibia must play one game without any fans, while Atletico would have to play two games in front of an empty stadium presumably in a move to avoid ticket sale losses at the beginning of 2023 season, Corotibia officials appealed to the court to allow women and children to enter the stadium, citing that the violence was associated with grown men. The court agreed and allowed entry to female and child soccer fans. The 18 would add, women and children were allowed to watch the game, and so what the club did was make the entry fee for games one kilogram of non-perishable food. The turnout was spectacular. Brazil reports spoke to six women who attended the historic game. They described the emotion of seeing women occupying a space that until a few years ago was mostly occupied by men. Lawyer Juliana, who supports Coratibia, said she avoided the stadium in recent years because of episodes of violence and harassment. With a game just for women and children, she felt safe and said that she had the best experience yet in a soccer stadium. During the game, the drums led by the women fans, tireless female voices singing throughout the game, a light and festive atmosphere, the feeling of belonging, that we are part of the team we love, she would say. Another fan, psychologist Pamela Fernanda Venancio da Silva, said she felt free to cheer and to dress the way she wanted without worrying about harassment or judgment from the normally male-dominated audience. You looked to the side and saw a fellow fan who was as happy and as free to cheer as you are. Mothers breastfeeding their children with peace of mind, she said. It was also a moment for women to show their strength and that the soccer stadium is our space too. Psychology student and Atletico fan Jennifer Sarcedot said that the presence of only women and children made her more comfortable going to the stadium in shorts, something she had avoided in order not to be harassed by men. Football is beautiful. Cheering is beautiful. But if we had that tranquility and respect in every game, it would be perfect. Because a woman's place is also in the stadium. Women also love soccer and deserve respect. Journalist Talita Lima, who had been to the stadium since 2015, took the opportunity to take her daughter to a game for the first time. For my daughter, it was even more special. The experience of being just with women, without harassment, and in a safe space was unique, and I haven't felt soccer this way in a long time.